I attended a high school in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. So I knew that I really wanted a community that was in the middle of nature and hiking. And so Cornell definitely provided me that. I remember that after every prelim, my friends and I, we would just like walk around Cornell's campus and just enjoy it, just the beauty of it. And I think that that started that was a tradition within me and my friend group, but it also translated outside of school. So on the weekends, we would go hiking. Um, there was a little place called Buttermilk Falls that we would go to. And also just in on the weekdays and on the weekends, especially just relaxing on live slope and having a picnic is always really fun. And that I know that's like always a good way to end my weekends. I think one like iconic thing about Cornell is like the events that I like going to, like for example, there's like the Afrique fashion show, which like everyone basically just pops out, looks really good. And then we just like watched a bunch of models just, you know, strut. And you can also be in the fashion show too. I've never been in it, but like, I love watching like my friends and cheering them on and stuff like that. Um, there's different events based on different things. There's like um, BSU, Black Student Union hosts a lot of events for like Black History Month. There's also different events for like um, different student organizations. So I personally am not Hispanic, but I love going to the Hispanic events. They have great food, great music love the culture. So um, there's different, like just for different organizations, it's just like a lot of events. So basically if you want to express yourself in different ways, there is different types of like, I don't know how to explain it, different type of organizations for that. But yeah, I just loved going out to those events. Cornell actually has their own sort of theater uh, in the basement of their student center. Um, and it's, it's just a theater. Like we have one to two movies every night. Uh, and uh, I worked there as an usher, as well as a box officer, as well as a uh, commission, or not commissions, a concession stand worker. Uh, I had a great time with it. Uh, got to see a lot of different movies that I never would have seen, whether it was an art house film or a movie that was just dropping that we got a recent release of. Um, I remember specifically, I saw Happy Death Day before it came out. They had a, a, a restricted early screening and that was super fun. It's lots of swag. and so much energy with all the two different students coming in. Um, it was a great time. There's, so there's there's all sorts of stuff to get involved in is the point. Also, there's a lot of cool restaurants here. Um, I like going down to uh, like the downtown Ithaca area, like we refer to as the commons. Um, and there was a period of time where like maybe like once or twice a month, my friends and I would go out and like try a different restaurant. Um, and that's always been really fun and really like nice to eat some good food. Uh, agree with Daphne. Came here because of nature and um, love. It. it just kind of felt like home. Like I'm from the suburbs of LA, so this place kind of has a suburban vibe to me. Um, they have all the essentials and then some. Plus, the nature is amazing. Uh, so then I would go on a lot of hikes as well. Um, just I just also love um, like going out and like looking at all the different uh, like trails that are available around here. Um, yeah, the food, the food's good too. <laughs> um, if there's one thing I can look forward to every year here at Cornell is uh, we have these things called uh, IVG conferences. It's like for first gen, low income uh, students all over the nation. And I can tell you it's probably the, the most, I've only been there once because I'm a sophomore right now and I'm not sure if we'll be having one this year, but nonetheless, uh, we have like students from all over, like literally Stanford, Princeton, Columbia, all these different uh, amazing schools and they come on camp. Well, thankfully last year we, we hosted it at least. Um, and they came to our campus. We got to show them around. Uh, we had a, a long talks about, you know, different things, uh, diversity, inclusive uh, things regarding college life. And, you know, they also get to stay here on campus. So for example, I hosted uh, two students, uh, one from Stanford and one from Princeton. Uh, and just being able to have that experience, a couple of students like, you know, uh, from different uh, colleges pursuing different things uh, in college. We got to share our experiences at our respective colleges. Amazing event uh, that occurs annually. And that's something I'll always, you know, hold dear to my heart because it's an amazing experience. Nonetheless, we get to have great food. <laughs> uh, we, we, we host like a little uh, get together the following night. We, there, it was like a two, three day conference. It was over the weekend, but nonetheless, really great experience that I always look forward to the, uh, every year here. Well, there's a lot of different things to do. I, I don't think anyone can say they get bored at Cornell. It's like you're not looking if you get bored because there's 
in terms of social life, I mean, nobody mentioned parties. I appreciate that, <laughs> but there's there's parties too. But um, but the interesting thing is the fact that if you're not into that kind of vibe, you can do a lot of other things. You know what I mean? Some people just want to hang out with friends, play music, eat. You know, sometimes they have like puppy, like de-stressing, like they'll bring puppies and you can like hang out with puppies if that's your thing. <laughs> um, there's just a lot going on. It's like Cornell's kind of like its own little city. Um, so if you keep your eyes and ears open, there's always something to do.